What's up guys, welcome back. I've got a brand new Super Cub DSM. Uh, I bought this brand new in box about a week or so ago. Uh, I got to unbox it myself. Um, everything was still zip tied up or taped up. It was tape, you know, it was really fun to unbox this thing. Um, I think I bought it off of a Facebook seller who buys storage units, and I think this was in one of those. Uh, but sitting in that box for 13 years maybe, um, just waiting to finally be opened and flown and uh, I could not be more happy that I was able to get it and really got it for next to nothing compared to what some people want for these in new in box. So I am extremely happy. I only paid 70 bucks for this thing. And uh, now I did have a little issue. The two in one, when I plugged in the two in one, it did pop. Something popped and fried. Although the airplane did work, it messed something, whatever popped messed with the signal because um, I could not get a range check to go through. It would lose signal. So um, although the airplane technically could fly if you kept it close to you, I didn't want to do that and ended up finding a brand new two-in-one on eBay. The last one on eBay. I bought that and now the airplane works flawlessly. So uh, thankfully that was extremely easy to resolve. Obviously all the rubber on the airplane is new. So you've got, uh, I had to replace the rubber bands. The ones that came with it were turned into literal plastic. Um, I've got some new rubber bands down here holding on the um, the little landing gear covers and of course probably mo well one of the more important things would be the rubber bands that hold the clasps shut those are brand new you can still buy those uh, and those are brand new look at how good the tail looks though the laminations not coming off or anything like that the tail is in absolute perfect shape the whole airplanes in phenomenal shape um, so it is really really cool to see this and uh, it brings back memories I've got a Spectrum 3S 850 Gen 2 in there, uh, which gives me 10 minutes of flight on a 3S 850. 10 minutes, the way I fly. It's got a big brushed 480 motor in here. It did, it did come with the DX4E, which I have, or DX4, whatever it is. I do have the ready-to-fly radio with this thing, and I have flown it with that radio. Everything works, but... Uh, back in the day when I was a kid, I used this, the DX8. So it's perfect to bring this transmitter back out and fly something that's around the era of that transmitter. Uh, back in the day when I was a kid, I put big bush wheels and stuff like that on it. But as an adult, I'm going to keep it classy and keep it original. So we're going to keep the little teeny tiny pavement wheels on there and uh, go ahead and take it up and show you guys what it was like to fly a brand new Super Cub DSM. These are awesome airplanes. I have already been flying. Let's see, I've been flying for about two, uh, well, actually I've been flying for about six minutes. So I've got about another um, two or three minutes to fly before my alarm goes off. All right, so we're gonna throw it off. You do that, you definitely don't need to have full throttle to throw this thing off. It just takes off with hardly any power. Oh yeah, I remember flying this exact airplane in this exact field many, many years ago. Matter of fact, I crashed it, uh, hit a tree over here. Let's see. I think it was that tree right there, but I was closer to the wood line and ran into a limb that was hanging out over the field. So that was fun. I remember that like it was yesterday. So this is probably my fifth flight of this airplane. Um, the last time I flew a Super Cub like this was probably 2014, 15, 2015. I think that's probably the last time I flew my original Super Cub. I don't know where it went. I guess I threw it away, unfortunately. But it was very beat up. I do remember putting a bigger prop on it. I remember trying to get more speed out of it. Um, I remember putting the floats on it. That was really fun. Um, I remember putting big bush wheels on it, all that fun stuff. You know, I was experimenting like most new pilots were back in the day. Look at the power this thing has. Look at that vertical. Stalling out now, but that's very respectable for a brushed motor. The flight times are excellent as well. I could see a, a 3S brushless system doing really nice in here. You know, nothing too powerful. Maybe just a little bit more power than what it has, but I'm certainly not going to do that. I think the way that it is is perfect. I love the brushed motor and the way that it sounds. This does have ACT, which I am not going to use. ACT was sketchy back in the day. And this is a three-channel airplane for those of you that you may not even know what a three-channel airplane is, but uh, there's no ailerons. 
you control the airplane with just the rudder and the elevator that's it so this is full right rudder uh, it takes a while to get over all right full left rudder Ooh, slow but back in the day this is what you learned on three channels rubber band wing yep these were the glory days to me and this airplane has a charm that the newer airplanes just don't give me i don't know what it is i know most people who didn't grow up with this would look at this and say yeah that's a piece of crap but to me there's something really special about this airplane and all these airplanes around this time and it's just really cool to have a completely original perfect flying unmodified super cub dsm Let's do a loop. Easy loops all day. Look at the moon. The moon looks awesome. So loops and wing overs. That's it. That's all you're going to do. <laughs> There's nothing else you're going to do with this airplane. <clears throat> you can try and fly it and fly it inverted. You sh I think I did with my original one. If you up the elevator throw a bunch, but uh, it's not made for that. We'll keep it nice and short. It's not not the most exciting airplane, right? But uh, it is really awesome. I, I need to get this corn cut because it's kind of getting in the way of me flying. We're going to come down and try to miss that reel of um, plastic sh sheathing or whatever these guys are doing over here. <coughs> All right, let's not hit the wheels. The reels, I guess that's a reel, right? This airplane actually doesn't have the best glide in the world. You're gonna have to come in with power on, but man, does it land so well. But yeah, you gotta have power on with this airplane. It, it doesn't, uh, it's got the aerodynamics of a brick. So when you come in to land, you're definitely gonna wanna have a little bit of power. But uh, you know, after flying this thing again, it brought back a lot of memories and it flies exactly like I remember it flying. And uh, three channel or not, this thing is so special. I absolutely love it. Whipping out the old DX8 Gen 1 again is awesome. And just being able to you know, slap a brand new modern LiPo in there, use it, you can use any new Spectrum radio. So the, the Super Cub DSM and the Super Cub S, I think the two that you certainly want to go after. I think the DSM is a little bit more special. I like the blue better than I do the red. But anyway, thought I would share this with you guys. Uh, if you have any stories about your Super Cub, please let me know, and I appreciate you watching.